My name is Nellie Deutsch, and uh, I'm thrilled, as always, to be presenting online through WizIQ. So if you could just add in the chat box where you're from and anything else you'd like to add. The chat is uh, a way for us to connect during the live session. There are many, many benefits to being in a live online session, the energy and the opportunities to get immediate feedback and to sense what's going on is really, really valuable. And you can not get that in the recordings. And I keep saying that uh, what's live and the present can never be uh, retrieved. We can't bring back the present no matter what we do. So yeah, that's really true. And um, the excitement of uh, presenting online for those of you who have must be really, really uh, special. So um, I see we've got Fatima. Where are you from? Uh, DJ is from France. Sebastian's from Argentina. Bonnie Nicholas is from Alberta, Canada. And I'm wondering how the weather is um, these days in, um, in Alberta. I hope it's not raining too much. I don't know if the lighting is better this way, I think. I'm trying to play around with my uh, camera. Hakim from Yemen. And let's see, do we have others? Okay, I think that's everybody right now. Um, Ab Abdul Hakim. Okay, yeah, you're from Yemen. So actually, uh, I think that's everybody. Um, and Thomas is from Venezuela, if he didn't. And Fatima is from Brooklyn, New York. That's great. Okay. All right. So today's session is about blogs and wikis. How many of you have used or have currently a blog? Okay. So if you can add yes, no under the blog. Do you have a blog? At least one. Okay, so I see everyone except for Sebastian who doesn't have a blog yet. Everybody else has a blog. All right. And okay, so two people don't have blogs, uh, Fatima and um, Sebastian. Okay, and what about Wiki? Do any of you have a Wiki? Okay, if you can, <laughs> you can't make your man. Okay, so maybe after this session, you'll uh, decide. So Bonnie says, I have many wikis. All right, that's excellent. Thomas, what does that mean? You're not sure whether you have a wiki or not? <laughs> that's okay. Uh, no wikis shared. Okay, maybe you're not sure what a wiki is. Maybe you have a wiki and you don't know. So I'm glad we've got a wiki expert among the participants. And maybe, Bonnie, maybe you can share your favorite wiki. So let's see. So that I created an entrance in a wiki once. An, an entrance? You mean you, you started? You began entry. Oh, you you added an en Oh, you're talking about the Moodle. <laughs> the Moodle uh, wiki. That's a whole different ball game. But maybe I never thought of a Moodle wiki because I don't think of a Moodle wiki as a, <laughs> as a real wiki, but it is a wiki. Oh, you just added something. Yeah, there it's called an entry. Okay, so I see that, um, yeah, it is a kind of wiki. All right, so teaching and learning online. How do you express their body uses wiki spaces? That's your favorite. You don't have to do a wiki. You just have to join a wiki, and it's all there. It's like a blog, only it has, uh, we'll talk about the differences, but uh, did you? You may want to start one by the end of this session. 
Teaching and learning online offers us a lot of opportunities to uh, share. And I think the key here is sharing information through links. Something you can't do in a face-to-face -face, uh, physical environment. You can't go around sharing links the way you might want to share uh, other things or exchange information. You, you can maybe share books or share notes. Uh, printed material, but it's very, well, it's impossible to share links because links are online, okay, through the internet. Blogging and wikiing, wiki, there's no such word as wikiing, but blogging and uh, sharing information through wikis is a wonderful way to do this. Actually, it's to organize <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but it's to organize the links. You have to organize the links. It's it. Hello, Sylvia. It's very difficult to share links just like that. Okay, so what do links have? Okay, if you could just add in the chat. A link is just a link. Okay, it's a hyperlink. It has an ending, which is really important. It generally belongs, it's hosted somewhere, and it has an ending. And the ending could be .com, it could be CA for Canada, it could be EDU. Okay, these are different kinds of endings. It could be uh, IF or information, info. It could be AC for academic, GOV, thank you, very good, that's right. So it has endings, and before the dot, there's a bit of information, but not enough to give you enough. So you need to have a title, you want to know the title of the link, and maybe a description. Now, what are you going to do with the links and descriptions? You're going to have to add them somewhere. Now, notice the link could be a YouTube. We talked about this uh, yesterday. It could be a video. Okay, if it's added to YouTube, Vimeo, Blip TV, and so on. So it could be a video. It could be audio, MP3, right? Could be that kind of link that was added to a uh, domain, to a and a hosting company. It could be a document, very good. Okay, a Word document, PDF document, text document. And it could also be an image. A link could be an image. Today, uh, especially in Moodle, um, images have URLs and you can actually copy the URL and get the link. For example, one of my favorite links, and notice how it, this is on one of my, well, an old website. And notice this is the link. I have it memorized. Okay, there's a link, and that link is actually an image. So if you open up that link, you'll get an image. And why don't we use G Drive? Well, G Drive, we'll be talking about G Drive. But you can also get links from there. They're kind of long, aren't they? Uh, DDA. The Google Drive. Uh, but don't forget that Google is also a, uh, a website. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's a start. But I just wanted to show you that a link could be a lot of things. And notice the ending is a GIF. So you can tell whether it's an image or not. So we want to organize all these links somewhere so that we can share them in an organized and understandable way. So we can either do it through a blog or a wiki. And they're quite different, but they serve the same purpose, ultimately, to share information. Yes, you can shorten it, but when you shorten it, you don't always get information. You know, this tiny link, uh, DDA, I use it quite often, 
and then I forget the link. Um, tiny, tiny URL, I think it's called tiny URL. And then I can add, for example, Moodle star, or it's just, you know, I can add a star and call it a star, but it might not be available because maybe somebody else has used the word star. So you're not, it's hard to get the link, the ending that you want, that'll give you information. All right. But that's, that's a possibility. Blogs. Okay, these are some of the free, and not every blog is free. You can also get a premium blog, a pro blog, but you can get a free blog. How many of you have one of these blogs, if you have a blog? Okay, so as you can see, there's WordPress. That's quite popular. And then the next popular one is Blogger, which actually is hosted by Google. Okay, this is a Google, yeah, blog. There's Tumblr, there's blog, there's blog.com. Uh, there's Live Journal, there's Weebly, which is also free website hosting. There's Jux, and there's Typepad. So you can choose one of these. Oh, you want to have your own domain. You can have a customized domain, um, do, Sebastian. I have one for my WordPress called um, Nelly. I think it's Nelly Deutsch. I don't really like it, but there it is, called NellyDeutsch.com. Um, but you can, uh, yes, you can get it with Blogger, too. I have a lot of... Uh, unless they stopped. I think they stopped with Blogger. I'm not sure whether you can get a customized uh, domain anymore. Exactly. That's the idea, Sebastian. The idea is to have the, a domain that reflects uh, you. Okay, you might want to have something that reflects you. Like I have integrating, integrating technology. Okay, that's... or. Uh, Nelly Muller, okay, so dot com, and I also have integrating technology dot org, and so on. Yes, you want to have something that. So, how is the blog different? What does a blog do? Okay, we're gonna watch this. Up. I hope it's gonna work because before it was kind of slow, so I'm hoping that uh, it'll be fast for you. Okay, one of these, I think it's this one, is on blogs, and the other one is on a wiki, and it does seem really slow, and I'm not sure why. I think maybe because my, um, my Mac does not feel comfortable with a flash that um, Google is using in YouTube. I think there's a problem these days. All right, so it's not really coming through. It's going to take quite a while. So what I suggest you do uh, later on, I'm going to share. Let me stop it because it's taking too long. Let me share the uh, PowerPoint presentation. Okay, there's the PowerPoint presentation that you see on the whiteboard. What you can do is click on that. Hello, Susan, and go to uh, slide number five. Can you do that? Just give me a thumbs up if you're able to access that link and go to slide number five. If you click on slide number five, you'll get the video on blogging. I think it's only about two minutes. Great. So can you watch that? And while you're doing that, I'm going to screen share. Okay, so let me just uh, get the screen sharing initialized. And I'm not even sure whether you'll get the screen sharing, but at least I'm recording this on YouTube. It'll um, allow others to get it. Okay, so here is the, uh, the class. That's not what I want. Here is the PowerPoint presentation. I'm watching this on another computer and right now what you see is 
a white screen. You don't see anything. WizIQ is working on their screen sharing feature. It should be much better. If you're using a PC, which I'm not, oh, there I see it appears now, and it seems to be upside down or something very strange looking. Let me see what you can do. Yeah, it looks pretty strange. But what you will see is that your chat is at the bottom of the screen, of the WizIQ screen, and you can pop it up and continue writing. Okay, so if you pop it up, you'll be able to continue writing. There, I'm saying hello on my other computer. I use two so I can see what, I, what you see. Okay, so that, all right. So you don't see it yet, but you'll see it soon, I'm sure. All right, so if you go to the fifth uh, and click on the fifth slide, you should be able to get a... Um, you should get the YouTube video on blogs. Okay, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come back to class because um, I don't think I should do that. All right, so I'm back in class. I stopped screen sharing. Now notice you may find that the chat is at the bottom of the screen. So if you just click on it and it should come up, you may find that my video uh, is not appearing on your system because it may be. It says the WizIQ is trying to improve the quality of the video. So don't worry about that. Okay, so Sebastian, you've got the YouTube video added to the chat. Thank you. All right, so watch that for two minutes and let me know. Give me a thumbs up when you finish watching it. Anyone not able to get YouTube? I know some countries uh, do not allow people to get YouTube. I, I don't know which country. I think in China, and yet some people can do it. And um, maybe in Turkey, it used to be Turkey. Maybe that changed. Okay, Didier has finished watching. Thank you, Didier. Great. Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, uh, Sebastian. Oh, you went through my <laughs> you went through my PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, we'll be talking about that in a second. Yeah, it's a great. It's a good video. Okay, I see Bonnie has completed it. All right, those who have already uh, seen the video, Sebastian, Great Thomas. If you could just add in the chat, what do they say about blog? What is a blog? What would you say? What is a blog? One word. News, weblog. All right. Okay, my question is, it's not in the YouTube video, but who coined the word weblog? 
It's a web log. Log from the word from the idea of journaling. Okay, it's um, it's like a journal. It's an online journal where you share. Well, we'll be talking about what kind of information, but you share information. That's one way of using it, like a newspaper. That's one way. But there are other ways of using um, a blog. You choose the subject. Of course, it's yours. You're the owner of the blog. Did you? So you do whatever you want. When who coined the uh, the term weblog? And when did they do it? Let's see if, uh, who gets the uh, information up first. Burger. Oh, burger. Very good, Bonnie. Excellent. Right. That's not a, such a long time ago. And who coined the word blog? That came later on, even. It's not that long ago. Okay. That's right. It's a storyteller. That's one way of using it, but things have changed. Okay, reasons to blog. As I said at the beginning, one of the reasons is to share links, to share information through um, blogging. One person has said that I think, therefore I blog. <laughs> okay, and these are some of the reasons and uses, which is exactly the same of a blog. You can use a blog to reflect. And many of you know this from the Moodle MOOC, where you had to reflect using a blog on Moodle, but it's to reflect. Uh, you can conduct research. I think one of my blogs, or maybe two of them if you find them, has uh, some of my research. My, I think both my MA and my uh, PhD is online somewhere on a blog. I have, I don't know, I have over 20 blogs, maybe more. Uh, you can teach content using a blog. Your blog could be like a course management system, but it's more like a learning management system. You manage your content and you teach using text, images, audio, and video, because all these things can be added to a blog. Who do you remember or deal with all your information? Oh, who do you share it with? Your students. Reflecting is for yourself. And then whoever reads it and their ways of promoting your or uh, marketing your blogs. Research is for yourself and those that you want to share it with. Teach is your students. Your face-to-face, -face, you could use this for blended or for your face-to-face -face classes where you teach. I have been using blogs to teach. And many other English teachers use blogs because you can add all the information there and you can interact with your students as well. You can also use it for your student artifacts. You can ask your students to create a blog and add everything that they learn on the blog. So if you're teaching Spanish, a language, that's a great way for your students to use the language in a blog. And what's exciting is that it's not only text, but it's images, audio, video. It becomes very, very rich and beautiful. So that could be part of your student work and peer evaluation. Other students can uh, review the blogs and evaluate it, and then you get peer evaluation. That's great, Sebastian. Bilingual, perfect, you can do that today. You can also share your expertise. If you're an expert in something, if you know how to, <laughs> I know somebody who is an expert, he's just a regular teacher, but his expertise was beer. Yes, beer. He, uh, <laughs> he, uh, had ideas on how to make beer and so he had a blog for beer or you can have a blog on anything you're an expert on okay so you can share expertise you can give advice to people there are a lot of those about how to be happy uh, or other kinds of uh, ideas and you can also that's right Sebastian it's a place to store to store everything and it doesn't cost you anything you don't have to have a hosting company you don't have to have a website you can get a blog and just use it as a storage place you can organize all your links and everything 
on the cloud if you like um, you can also build your business if you want to have a business it's a great way to build a business to promote your business you can add all kinds of articles about a product about an idea about whatever your business is in um, many companies have blogs every company in fact has a blog if they're anyone uh, and if you notice even Google has a blog Okay, so right now, Bonnie, we're talking about blogs. We'll get to uh, wikis in a minute. You can also use it to share your interests, whatever you're interested in, and then find other people who are interested. In, and that's how people connect. You can also have it for your family. You can have record your family moments. For a birthday, I have seen blogs for weddings. Really, weddings. It was just great to document your wedding, document a special day, a birthday, a wedding, an anniversary, a trip. If you take a trip, you can have a, a web uh, travel and, and, and just document your travel with lots of pictures. It's really great. You can keep it for your children or for your friends. So it's really a great way to... Um, to store information in an interesting way so that it doesn't get lost uh, you can also if you're an artist or if you'd like to play around with photos and videos if you like to take photos you can create a blog for your photos and videos if if you're like me and you have a camera like a Samsung, you know, a, an Android or an iPad. What do you do with all the photos instead of adding them to Facebook? I mean, Facebook, they just, you know, they, they just accumulate there. And, but you can have a blog with all your favorite photos. And it's, uh, it's great. Yeah, but Flickr is Flickr. You can bring all your photos to a blog so that it's only yours. Because don't forget, one day Flickr may just disappear. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, so it might have a good idea to have backups, okay? So have a blog and have your and organize them nicely there. Uh, you may want to earn money. You can make money with your blog. How many of you realize that you can make a lot of money? <laughs> Some people don't work. They just uh, have a blog and the money comes in. I'm not kidding. You can make a lot of money and people make a living in from YouTube as well. But they make a living from writing on blogs or their own blogs you can have sponsors on your blog and they pay good money I mean I get this all the time for my websites too but blogs are even better so they just add their link and, and, and they pay you they really do and then there's Google Adsense even yes DDA you can make money um, even Google Adsense it's completely free and you can make money whenever somebody clicks on the ad but you cannot click on your own ad yeah, exactly Thomas if they click on it so um, it's quite easy I used to make quite a bit of money and then I just didn't have time because you have to update your blog or your website see a blog is just like a website today they really are beautiful you can also write a book I think somebody mentioned it you can write a book on a blog it's really exciting and you can also have a conference organize a conference on a blog it doesn't cost anything and you can have the landing page and everything your whole conference organized on a blog it's it's a website uh, a complete web it's not even a mini website you can have as many pages as you want on a blog so it's not limited in any way you can have a guest page you can have everything that you have in a website and it's called a blog you just don't pay for it it's completely free and you can make money without any kind of investment except your time and then you can have courses of course and MOOCs you can create organize a MOOC on a blog so I think that's really exciting don't forget that people can comment on every single post that you make on your blog so for every post you can get comments and these are great yeah but the course builder is difficult it's so much easier to get a Google blog and work from there 
because don't forget you don't want to spend a lot of time okay so th that's about blogs now we're going to talk about wikis okay I used to be hooked I mean addicted to wikis so um, I used to really think that everything in this world online was about wikis I just loved them I started out with wiki spaces I think in 2004 or 2005 that's a lot of years <laughs> that's many years ago wisdom of its <laughs> that's cute so wiki stands for hurry and I like to do things quickly what I liked about the wiki was the fact that everything could be done really fast it really is truly a fast way to add content wiki wiki okay it means hurry so wiki spaces is really great it's free for k-12 for teachers and then there's wiki.com and wiki spot and PB works which had changed its name a few times and then there's Wika which is actually part of uh, Wikipedia what I liked about the wiki I stopped with wiki spaces after a while I used it with my classes my face-to-face -face classes high school and um, higher education until one day a picture popped up during the summer and I said okay that's the end of wiki spaces something happened but it doesn't happen anymore I know that things don't uh, go wrong with wiki spaces it's really great but I fell in love with something called wiki educator now why did I fall in love with wiki educator because I loved the wiki language wiki has comes in different languages but you don't see these okay you don't see them but I was teaching uh, one of the languages okay here are some of the languages that a wiki comes in it's called the wiki markup there's JavaScript based there's Perl based PHP Python and other languages so I was just I just loved wiki media and the language but now it doesn't exist anymore most uh, wikis have a rich editor so you don't see the wiki markers but at that time in 2007 I was making a lot of money teaching on wiki educator uh, for just to give you an idea for uh, five weeks I was getting two thousand dollars for, for just sharing this and this was from the Commonwealth of Learning and they were very very keen on paying because they were getting grants so there was a lot of money to teach people how to use wikis so that they can share information and um, teach online in what's called the open education resources I don't know if you're familiar with open education resources okay which is OER so I was involved with the OER I was very excited about it, getting teachers to uh, learn how to do it so that they can share the idea behind a wiki is sharing sharing and allowing others to edit that means that anybody could edit your page and you would be smiling happily smiling you wouldn't mind it okay but many people do not like people to go into their work and make changes so my job was to convince them that sharing and editing was a good idea okay and it was a lot of fun I want to show you an example of the wiki markers the language that I was teaching just a bit take a look at this take some more tea the March hare said to Alice very earnestly I've had nothing yet Alice replied in an offended tone so I can't take more you mean you can't take less said the Hatter it's very easy to take more than nothing okay so that's a little bit from Alice in Wonderland and here are the markers this is the media wiki this is what I was teaching this is very simple it gets very complicated but it's a lot of fun okay so um, take some more you see the T is hyperlinked the way to hyperlink 
a word that appears in the wiki is to put one bracket. When you put two brackets, it means that it's an external link and so on. So there are a lot of different ways. So that's the wiki markup syntax, and then there's the HTML. But there was no such thing as the HTML at the time. So that's why I loved the wikis, because of the markers. I really enjoyed that. Um, here's the video, the second one, that I'm afraid is going to be too slow, so I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile showing it to you. But let me try and see. Maybe, maybe it'll... I tried this before and it didn't work, so I kind of gave up. See, it's too slow. It's not moving. Okay, so if you could go to slide number 12. Remember slide number 12 in the tutorial? In the PowerPoint presentation that is on the whiteboard. If you go into that, you'll be able to um, see the video on wikis. And then you'll get the difference between a blog and a wiki. So give me a thumbs up when you finish watching. Ah, the link again. Okay, here's the link um, to the... Okay, if you open that up and you go to slide number 12 and click on the slide where it says click on the text, click on that, you should be able to get the video. You got it. All right. And then watch the video. I think this video is about three minutes And I think you'll get a good idea of um, how different a blog and a wiki is. I'm going to try something here. Let's see. I'll just while I'm waiting for you guys, when you finish, just give me a, a thumbs up. Hmm. Okay, Thomas, you're first. Good for you. All right, and Bonnie, I have well understood in a, in a blog, the others can't modify the news. Exactly, that's the point. In a blog, you are completely in charge. No one can go into your blog and make any changes, DDA. You are perfectly correct. In a wiki, if you allow it, your friends or even the public can go in. So it's like uh, Google Drive, if you're familiar with Google Drive. On Google Drive, those that you allow will be able to edit with you. And those that you do not allow were not. Like what we did for the jigsaw. That's right, Fatima. And sharing, editing, exactly. That's the idea. The idea is that, and not everybody likes this. Okay, it's not something that everyone is able to do. Some people find it very difficult to um, 
when somebody goes into their work and starts making changes. You can always go back in history. It's e On Google Drive, it's kind of difficult, but in a real wiki, because Google Drive is not a real wiki in the sense it doesn't have all the features of a wiki, but in a real wiki, like Wiki Educator, Wikipedia, Wiko, uh, Wikimedia, uh, anyone can see who made the changes. And I think this is really, really important because you want to know who made the changes. And you can do that on Google Drive too, but it, it's not, it's clumsy. It's not as easy as it is on a wiki. Yes, and it's wonderful, Didier. And there are many math. I know you teach mathematics. There are many math, for example, I think it's called uh, Math Family. If you're interested, I can connect you with some people because I have a lot of friends who teach math, Didier. Math Family is one. They have some wonderful wikis. There is a Dr. Maria Drozhkova. Maria Drozhkova. If you write her name, Maria Drozhkova, uh, she presented at the Moodle MOOC on June 29, I believe. She has some great ideas. She is a true, um, I guess, collaborator. She loves to collaborate and she does a wonderful job at collaborating. So you may wish to connect with her. She's always happy to help and she's got, she's writing a collaborative book. There's so much you can do with, uh, with wikis. The idea is that everybody is able to work together. And there are a lot of benefits, but not everybody's ready for that kind of collaborations. So what are some of the reasons to wiki? Notice the same reasons that I had added for the blog. Same reasons. Okay, so it's to reflect, to conduct research, to uh, teach, you can teach, share content, have your students create artifacts on the wiki, your wiki. The benefit of a wiki is that they don't have to go somewhere else. They can do it on your wiki. They can also do it on a blog, but they cannot collaborate on a blog. They can collaborate on a wiki. By the way, there's even a video that you can collaborate on. One of the videos is Kaltura. I don't know if you've heard of Kaltura. They say it's still free, but I think that it costs money. They keep telling me, Nelly, we're, we are still free. Uh, but what's nice about Kaltura is you can edit together. So um, you can share exp all these things that you have on the blog, you can do on the wiki with the exception. And we'll get to the exception in a minute. Google Drive is also a kind of wiki. And what's nice about Google Drive is that you, it's getting better and better. They're improving it all the time, as you notice. Um, you can share a PowerPoint. You can share images and work on them together. You can share Word document and you can add comments by voice, which is nice. You can share anything else that you can share? Uh, videos, but you can't really... Uh, you can share videos, but you can't edit them. You can spread sheets. You can also um, edit spreadsheets and I think that's it I think that's that's the list but they're adding more so it's getting better and better and uh, it's taking time but it's gonna get there I think Google is really uh, catered for the teacher and student so let's take a look at the wiki hello Fabiana the wiki for example okay this is what you can do only on the wiki you can choose you can choose to collaborate on a wiki page. You don't have to. In real time, you can do it at the same time. For example, on Google Drive, you can be editing the same page at the same time. Now, there's a problem, uh, Bonnie, with wiki spaces as opposed to uh, other wikis like wiki uh, media, uh, like wiki educator, because 
actually you can't edit at exactly the same time one person edits and then you have to wait and then the next person same with PB wikis all the wikis available you can't do it at the same time I'm sorry you were late but you'll have to get the beginning we're talking about the differences between blogs and wikis and here is the uh, the PowerPoint presentation you can look at it and if you have any questions you can ask them in the course feed and then you can get answers you can watch this uh, later on uh, you can edit a common page at a different time not at the exact same time even though on wiki on google drive you can do it at the exact same time you can develop teamwork now this is really important because working in teams makes life so much easier if you had to write a book in a month what would be easier to do it alone or with somebody else of course teamwork somebody else or a few others so working in teams is very very uh, effective and very very efficient um, and then there's also uh, improving writing if you're teaching English as a foreign language or if you're teaching English academic English I teach um, PhD students how to write their dissertation and I use wiki I use Google Drive because well I use Moodle too but I use Google Drive to help them improve their writing because you can comment and you can add uh, information so uh, wiki is a great way to help students improve their writing organize their writing and so on it also develops trust now I don't know maybe we were born to trust one another but then something happened along the way and we stopped trusting one another and I think it really benefits to learn to trust one another everybody benefits when they start trusting okay it's reciprocal but the benefits are huge okay there are a lot of benefits to trusting so the wiki really promotes this kind of trust because you have to trust um, and you learn to trust and then you also gain confidence because working alone can be very very stressful and uh, it can lower your confidence and you can feel very bad about yourself if you don't get things done but if you're working with others you feel so much better because you see that you can okay so it really helps uh, gain confidence you also get the work done you have to get the work done because if you're working in a team and everybody's pushing um, they'll make sure that you get the work done so you know for the procrastinators if you work in a team there's always someone that will push everybody to work so these are the benefits of uh, using a wiki I, I noticed that you said something there um, Bonnie you said I use most of my wikis as a resource for my students only some of my wikis are collaborative okay good point but you can if you want to so I'm wondering why you use a wiki as opposed to a blog of course there are privacy issues maybe it's easier to uh, keep your work private or to only allow certain people to see it on a wiki on a blog it may be a bit ridiculous to make it only available to certain people so that's another um, element you might want to consider if you're teaching in a school or you're teaching a course you might be better off for privacy issues to have a wiki and not a blog now this is wiki educator that i told you about if you go to slide number 17 okay and here again is the uh, is the uh did i add that okay so there's the uh, link oh, I added it twice the link to the uh, PowerPoint presentation that I'm using right now notice it's a link that's the benefit of having everything on the cloud 
but sharing it in a chat box is not good enough okay it would be a lot better if you could copy the chat box at the end and add it to your blog or to your wiki something to think about uh, Fabiana that's how we started the session we talked about the importance of organizing all the links that we have by not just adding the link but explaining what the link in, is giving it the title describing it and adding it either to a blog in an organized way by writing a blog post or to a wiki so this is wiki educator and um, you can see what they say about wiki educator we are proud to announce the launch of our gifting campaign and membership recruitment drive we need your support donate or join uh, now notice that this is part of the wikipedia okay the wikipedia wikiversity and so on there are a lot of them and um, they thrive because of people's support otherwise they would disappear so these are huge organizations that are nonprofit and try to share information in one place and it has improved definitely wiki educator has improved a lot since 2007 they no longer need me to teach uh, the wiki markers or to teach people how to um, collaborate and create open educational resources no one's getting paid for doing that everybody's doing it on a voluntary basis uh, because there's no funding okay so if you click on this link it'll take you to wiki educator so again if you go to the PowerPoint presentation and click on slide number 17 you'll get to wiki educator and then you can find uh, me among others so the question now is now that we're at the get blog or wiki all right so let me uh, get the poll up okay you think about it first of all are you going to create um so what would suit you think about it okay so i've got two things a blog or a wiki okay so let's see what you have to say You have to make a decision, Didier. So this no depends on right now. What do you prefer? After you heard all everything that I said about blogs and about wikis, what is your choice? You can think of a purpose. Okay, so you can vote now. I'm gonna vote too on my other computer here. Um I'm not sure either. Okay, I see that we have uh, blogs. Okay, 58%, 66%, 67%. So it looks like how many voted? 12. And how many are there at this time? Not everybody's voted. So if you can vote, that would be great. Oh, I see everybody's voted. Okay, full votes. All right. So the winner is blogging. Let me share the results with you so you can see it. There are the results. So you can see blogs win. Okay, we've got a little bit of time left for questions. So if you'd like me to pass on the mic to you, um, let me do that. In addition, I'd like to invite you to uh, two courses. One course is for beginners on integrating technology. When I say beginners, I mean that um, it's going to go very systematically. 
on integrating teaching with technology, um, but we also have a course called Blending and Flipping Classes with Technology. So this session is every Saturday at this time. It's called Blending and Flipping Classes with Technology. And the other one is called Teaching with Technology. You might want to join both courses. You're welcome. The other one is uh, Teaching with Technology. I can't seem to find it. Teaching with Technology. And it's the live sessions are on Friday. Okay, so here it is teaching with technology. So there are two courses. There are, of course, other courses, and these are all free. There are other courses for TESOL, teaching English as a second as a, um, as a foreign language and second language. There's also a MOOC coming up. You might want to join the uh, second Moodle MOOC is about to come up, uh, Moodle MOOC. And you may be interested because it'll have the opportunity for people to practice as also as admin, well, managers in the Moodle MOOC. But if you're interested in admin and learning how to be an administrator, it's starting tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow we're starting. So I think, Thomas, you're there. Tomorrow we're starting the administrator course. Um, if you're interested in Thomas, maybe you can share the link. Are there any questions? What about some of the previous tasks of blend and flipping? Where do we... Ah, that's... A, I think now you have the answer, Sebastian. Well, either a blog, it's up to you, a blog or a wiki. This is your chance to share there. That's what I meant when I said organizing information. Otherwise, it's going to stay on Google Drive. So you might want to have it in one place where it's only yours and where you can invite people to see everything. So I would have a blog or wiki and add all my learning, everything that I learned. Keep It's like keeping a journal, okay? It's keeping a journal, an online journal of all your work. And this is important because people may want to know uh, the web quest too, the link to the web quest. Yes, people may want to know what you're doing, what are your skills, so you can just share your blog with them and they can learn about all the things that you learn and what you've learned, the courses you have taken, the certificates, you can add your certificates there as well. Vlog too. You can have a vlog. You can create videos and add them to your blog. Of course, that's right, Didier. Everything connects with the blogs and wikis. So you have to make a choice. So what's it going to be? Have you changed your mind? Blog or wiki? Thomas, what is that? Looks like a very long link. Uh, okay, here I've got the uh, short one. I think the class just ended. Did I just close the class? It looks like the class closed or I closed it. Sorry about that. I think I just, um, there's the link, Thomas. There it is. Okay, you've got the link. There's the short link. 
All right, so thank you very much, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And see you on Friday in uh, Teaching with Technology and on Saturday. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please join us uh, in the course. There are two courses and ask the question. Thomas, I passed on the uh, suggestion that you made and I hope you'll be able to see which class comes from which course. And keep the link of the courses on your, on your uh, blog or your wiki. This will help you keep all the links organized on your blogs or wikis. So blogs or wikis. Okay, it'll make your life a lot easier and more organized. Bye for now. I'm going to add this to YouTube, so you should be able to get it. But if you use the link, you'll be able to uh, get the recording. Bye for now.